All right, so I'm here today with Mr. Sawyer. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's a blessing to have you here. Thank you for having me. Oh, my man, it's what we do. Now, I know you, you went ahead and you saw us on YouTube, isn't that right? I did, yes. All right, and um, what was it that made you come in? Because I, I really want people to hear, you know, what brought you in here. But what was it that you were watching and made you say... I watched a, a video of yours where you talked about uh, how you only do specific adjustments on people instead mm -hmm. of just coming in and coming to get cracked up like a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of people out there. Mm -hmm. That immediately turned me on to you. I need mm -hmm. a specific chiropractor. I, mm -hmm. I've gone into chiro general chiropractors before mm -hmm. and have had a lot of bad luck with them. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good chiros out there. There's you know, there's different types of everything. Um, you know, and there's people out there helping people, but. I definitely, I've been in a lot of pain myself, so from my own experiences, that's I think how I've learned to care for people, so I, I get that, and um, I know you're in quite a bit of pain, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, now uh, you're 20 years old, yeah. and you were a gymnast for 11 years, um, what that basically means is that he's incredibly strong, <laughs> and like, yeah, I've, yeah, used that to be. used to be, well, it's still in there, um, I have no qualms that he's much stronger than myself. Um, a gymnast is, they're at the highest level, there is so much strength, it's amazing. So mad respect on that, absolutely. Now, um, we've got a number of issues for the past few years. You've had some neck injuries, dislocated your hip and your knee, you've broken both of the bones and the arches of your feet, you've got a slip disc at C5, trouble sleeping, trouble falling asleep and staying asleep, neck pain, upper back pain, mid and lower back pain, um, headaches at the base of your skull, um, and then on to top it all off, last week, was it last week? Last week, yeah. Last week you were on your longboard and you were hit by a car. It was. And it wasn't a small hit, he was thrown onto the hood and you broke the windshield if I'm correct. I did. So I told you he was really strong, made like a <laughs> rock, okay? Um, and um, so we, we, got, we got a really good dude here. And uh, the reason we do what we do is to help people like him. So my hope is that number one, we help you. Um, and this is his first visit. And number two is that somebody out there sees us and they go, you know what, I've got an issue like that, and right? And whether they come to us or they go to someone else that they get the help they need, oh, yeah. right? Okay. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is take a quick glance at his skin. So you come over this way, and um, what we're gonna do is pull this up here and do a brief explanation of what we found um, and then we're going to explain how chiropractic works and then we're going to do our spinal exam. So we're going to start <coughs> over here. This is heart rate variability and this test here, the left side is what we call the sympathetic or the fight or flight. So it's the stress nervous system. The right side is what we call the parasympathetic, the rest and digest. I say, uh, I say cheers, right? You're mm -hmm. of course having a dinner, maybe you know, drink with somebody, relaxing and um, you're, you're at calm, you're at ease, right? and you are this white dot in the middle. And so the trick question, I, excuse me, not in the middle, on the left side. The trick question is where do you want to be, the gas or the brake pedal? The answer is actually in the midline. The way it works, Sawyer, is that when we get stressed, the white dot goes out. Mm. The longer we're stressed, it goes down. Just from seeing this, I would be able to tell that you're not sleeping well, your energy's probably not where it wants to be, and your ability to recover is diminishing. Does that all make sense? Okay, we want to see this white dot up in this area. Okay, that's 100% rejuvenation. This is our nerve flow. This is a thermal scan of the spine. And white equals within normal limits. Green, blue, red is getting worse with poor nerve flow. There's no blue. We see that the neck has poor nerve flow, C2, C3. Those nerves go to the eyes, ears, nose, throat, um, the face, the neck muscles. C6, 7, T1, 2, and 3 goes to the arms, the shoulders, all the way down into the hand, your lungs, um, even uh, potentially to the heart of T3, and of course, again, the upper back muscles, so that can account for dysfunction and discomfort in this area. And then L5S1, you mentioned your lower back, those nerves go everywhere below the belt, including the intestines, the reproductive organs, and all the muscles. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we definitely want to see less color, less red there. Got it? Definitely. And we're gonna start here. And we're checking the tone of your trapezius. And then what we're gonna do is go to the upper back here. So remember that if I push anywhere and it hurts, just let me know. A good exam will elicit the problem. So if it hurts, don't be alarmed. Just know that we're doing a good job. So left to right there, you can tell that that 
feels a little tender to me. It's not quite moving as well as it could. Mm -hmm. Right to left, can you feel the difference there? Yes. So it's moving, but not very much. Mm -hmm. And then over here, it's, yeah, hardly at all. That's T1, those nerves go down into your arm, to your last two fingers, into your upper back muscles and your lungs. You feel that right there? Oh, yeah. Painful, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's T4, those nerves go to your stomach. The stomach has cells called parietal cells that secrete acid. Do you get any acid reflux at all or indigestion? Yes, I get that acid reflux a lot. Okay, that's very common with people that have a misalignment in that area. As we get down here, uh, T6, 7, he's got a lot of inflammation on the right side. Does that hurt at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. T6, 7, those nerves go to the liver, uh, digestive enzymes, detoxification. T8, 9, right down here, same thing, really tight on the right side. You can see he's jumping a little bit. Upper lumbar spine, L1. You'll notice, again, on the left, it is a bit stuck. On the right, much more so, that would be a subluxation. These nerves go down the quadriceps to the small intestine, which is carb digestion. And then L2, same thing. So he's had some trauma here. He's done a lot of activities. He's also been hit by a car right there. Do you feel any pain? Oh, yeah, that's, that's really tender. Okay, L3, the nerves go to the large intestine, which is water absorption, vitamin formation, feces formation. They go to the um, both the part of the quads and the hamstrings, and they go to your kidneys, which is detoxification, controls your blood pressure. Right there, L5, yeah. any pain there at all? Yeah. Got yeah. it. And then hips relax. Right sacroiliac joints moving okay. Left one, not so much. Um, go ahead and lay onto your back, bud. We're going to check the way a couple of his lower back muscles are firing. Um, we're going to go ahead and have you pull this way. So I'm going to pull this way. I want you to resist, okay? Uh, head down, hands down at your side for me. Down at your side, this way. I'm going to pull you. Resist, Sawyer. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Were you trying? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> try again. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a guy who was on the rings and probably doing things like an iron cross and, and other things. And um, his low back muscles aren't firing, so no matter how much muscle mass he has, and he is very strong, you can tell when you feel his spine, but the muscle's not turned on, it's just not going to work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Stay right there. Pull this way, bud. Hands off the body. Pull to the right. Okay, awesome. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Okay, great. So that one is not firing. Or excuse me, that one was firing. And we're going to do this. I'm just going to touch here. We're going to see if we can get that muscle to turn back on. Sawyer, you pull your legs to the left again. Go ahead. You see the difference that made? Awesome. So we were able to turn that muscle back on. That confirms that there's a muscle injury to that area. Head relaxed. We're going to check your neck now. So your lower neck is really stiff and rigid. You see your T1 doesn't want to move at all right there. Yeah, that one moves, but it's really swollen. We talked about T1 already. Head relaxed. Your upper cervical spine is stuck out of alignment. C1, you can feel that. And uh, we've definitely confirmed the presence of subluxation or spinal misalignment. What we're gonna do now is take some pictures of your spine and make sure that it's a problem we can help. All right. Fair enough? Fair enough, All sounds right. good, thank Let's you. Let's rock you got it. We have our adjusting rooms on the left, we have exam rooms on the right, my office on the left, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take some pictures of the spine. You can set your blinds down there. All right, Sawyer, how you doing? Good, thank you very much. Good to see you, welcome back. Thank you. All right, uh, yes sir, of course, it's my pleasure. Um, now, we did our exam yesterday, we went ahead and took some pictures, and we did find the problem, so got good news, bad news for you, all right? You mm both. -hmm. You both, okay. Um, well, the bad news is that you do have a problem in the spine, so you're having neck pain and you're having back pain. There is a problem in your neck, but the main problem is stemming from your lower back and then that's why you can't bend forward, uh, that's why you're having trouble sleeping peacefully, uh, working, etc. And then of course the problem goes up through the spine. The good news is you're young, you're pretty fit, I can tell you're strong still, and you know, you're not overweight, it's going to be a lot easier to take care of you than somebody where we're working through a lot of systemic challenges, and we just have to get in there and do the work, but you can be helped, brother. Perfect. Sound good? Thank you. Amazing. It. All right. Now, this is your neck from behind. So when we look at your neck, um, what we've got here is fairly straight through the mid lower neck. And then you can see here, C4, you can see this vertebrae is out of alignment. 
it's slanted, it's tilted, and then the vertebrae, the two vertebrae above it are out of alignment. So C2, C4 there, those are gonna be irritating the nerves. C2, the nerves go to your eyes, ears, nose, and throat. C4, they go to your neck muscles, your thyroid gland, um, muscles of the upper back and shoulder sometimes. And T3, the nerves go to the lungs and the upper back. So we wanna get that into alignment so there's no tilt there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, here, this is the one I had you open your mouth and you see where those circles are. Um, this is joint space right through here, joint space through here, and you can see it's approximating, coming together. Can you see that? We don't want to see that. You are 20 years old, correct? Yes. Okay. We don't want to see arthritis like that in a 20-year-old, do we? Never. Correct. Your thoracic or your mid-back looks fairly straight. In the upper, we see the T3 subluxation. We spoke about that already. As we get down to the lower thoracic, you can see these areas where you actually have some bone spurs, some growths of the vertebrae. And so you're developing some arthritis down here in your lower thoracic spine where these bones are growing pointed like that. And that tells me they've been stuck for some time. You can see this vertebrae is tilted in relation to the one below. This one is also tilted. And so this lower thoracic area, I think you mentioned as well, right through here. Mm -hmm. Does that give you any trouble at all? Yeah. Okay, a lot. a lot, right? The nerves at T9 go to your adrenal glands. Those wake you up in the morning. The nerves at T12 go to your diaphragm. Helps you to breathe. Or T9, right where you just poked. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of tweaking there when I bend over. Got it, okay. So we, that's something we want to correct the alignment. And then we're gonna get to your lower back. This is your lower back from behind. R is for right. Um, what do you see going on here, Sawyer? It's tilted. It is definitely it's tilted. Very tilted. Now, I want to point out the leg length inequality. Your left hip is clearly lower by six millimeters than your right. However, I have a seven millimeter difference. We should not see that tilt in the spine. What is going on here is that this vertebrae, your L5, is extremely subluxated or stuck out of alignment, irritating the nerves. You're going to the right. This vertebrae is bending ever so slightly to the left. Yeah, that's when the that's And twisting to the right. So the mechanics are all messed up. I, w I landed uh, right on the last disc, so that would make sense. After I rolled off the car, landed right there. Fun, right? Yeah. Now, I will say, even though you were just hit by a car a week and a half ago, this has been there longer than that, and that accident probably flared this up. The reason I know that, we'll use a simple analogy, what happens if you don't floss your teeth? Your gums build up. I mean, yeah, plaque builds up and eats away at the gums, you're exactly right. And so what's happened here is we've got our discs, and the spine is very similar to the teeth. So here you have your disc, this is a disc, and this is a disc. And what we see here, it's nice and wide and open in the front, and in the back, you're 20, but it's actually approaching bone on bone. So it's very close, we call that arthritis. On a scale of minimal, mild, moderate to severe, we call that moderate, approaching severe disc degeneration. No boy, no. <laughs> okay. So what we've gotta do is apply a specific force and move your L5 and get your L5 moving again. I cannot promise you more disc. Mm -hmm. However, the disc gets its nutrients from the pumping action of everyday movement and if it's subluxated out of alignment, then it can't, the fluids can't circulate. It does not have blood vessels. Right. So we can get motion into that disc. We want to get the red and yellow line lining up and then uh, you're the gymnast, you're stronger than me, but I want to remind you of some core exercises and things we can do to get you back on track. Definitely. And then you can teach me all the other stuff. All right. Cool. So realistically, I would say that we're looking at plus or minus six to 12 months to get you where you need to go mm -hmm. to the point where we can put you on wellness care and we get a maximal improvement. If it took me seven years to get to this point, I'm okay with 12 months. <laughs> Respect. To get back. All right, Thank you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. All right, Thank let's you. do it, my man. All right, so we're here with Sawyer, brother. All right, and we're going to get you your first alignment. Uh, Sawyer decided on a care plan. Um, what did you decide, Sawyer? Uh, the corrective plan. Corrective plan, yeah. that's right. So we're going to get in there. We're going to make some changes. Um, as with anybody, um, it's really individual to how his body will change. So we put him on a higher frequency program. He's going to be here three times a week for a few months. We're going to get in there. We're going to make some changes. We're going to document the changes as we go. It'll be a lot of fun, actually. Um, and today we get your first alignment, so you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's lay face down on the table, sir. All right. All right. 
Thank you, sir. And what we're going to do um, is find the areas of the spine that we're going to adjust, shoulders relaxed. We're going to put motion into the spine and allow that body to start healing. Now, when was the last time you had an adjustment? Maybe four months ago. Four months, all right. So we're starting here just checking the motion in the pelvis. We know there's a lot of degeneration down here, so we're going to come back to this area in a moment. First, we're looking to the thoracic spine. Sawyer's really good at just his conscious breathing. We're gonna start here in that mid back at T9. We're gonna have a slow deep breath in and out. Now what's gonna happen, Sawyer, is I'm gonna contact. We're gonna put a specific motion into the vertebrae and um, you're gonna feel a movement here in noise, but it's not your bones rubbing together, okay? Got it. All right, breath in. One more. And out. Shoulders relax. Beautiful. How did we do, sir? Good. Excellent. We're going to move up to the upper thoracic spine, that T3. Beautiful. You can see that nice full breath after the adjustment. That's amazing. Um, here we're going to go to his lower back now. And um, when somebody first starts their care, yeah, he's hurting here. We always have the x-rays and... Um, file and notes on file but I always take a really close look the first time hips relaxed once we get into the process and the habit of adjusting somebody in the way that their body needs it then it's much easier to get them where they need to go I'm gonna have you with a hamstring curl here push back push 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 again. Ooh. Cramping. Contract yeah. your quad. Yeah. Contract your quad. Retract it. Other way. This way. Straighten your leg out. Contract really hard. Okay. That'll break the spasm there. You can relax now. Push back here. Ooh. Beautiful. Push again. Keep pushing. Is it cramping again? Yeah, it's my knee. Is the knee hurting? Yeah. Okay. You can let it go. We'll use a different muscle here. You pull in this way. Go ahead. Beautiful. And relax. So I'm just talking to his body. Just doing a little... Dialoguing, pull in again, and asking his body what it wants. I'm gonna have you lay on your right side facing me. Hips relax, sir. I'm gonna bend right here. I'm gonna move you closer to the edge of the table. This is called side posture, and uh, it's more comfortable to adjust the lower back for the most part. So I'm gonna hold you here so you don't roll off the table. I'm gonna contact the vertebrae here. We're gonna lift it up, set it back down into the right place. And I'm going to lean over you because the force comes between the pockets, okay? Yeah. Breath in, bud. And out. Hips relaxed. How'd we do there, sir? Oh, yeah. That was good. That was a big movement. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. Nice yeah. news is immediate, definitely. Yeah, that's, I mean, you've been really stuck for your disc to get degenerated and worn and the vertebrae is set back, what we're trying to do is lift it up and set it forward again. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay, Pretty tighten good. your abs as you turn that way, please. Okay, to bend here. Now each adjustment will get a little easier. That's the good news. Yeah. It will take time. Up. Hips relax, slow breath in, all the way up. Shoulders loose, hips relaxed there. Beautiful. How do we do there? Oh, yeah. Okay. You're going to lay onto your back. I want you to breathe for a moment. How's the pain there? That's good. I felt it right up, up more at the top side than mm -hmm. that one, up near the middle. Yeah. Is the lower part calming a little bit? Yeah, it's very loose. Cool. It's very cool. Feels okay. good. Awesome. I always say that an adjustment doesn't usually hurt, um, unless you're already in pain, it can hurt. Um, but little by little, brother, the body can heal. Can we lower this down a little bit? Yeah, definitely. There we go. Head relaxed. So we're gonna give one specific adjustment. That mid-cervical spine, so you breathe in. And now, uh, 
head relax. Remember, this is a little louder. It's closer to your ears. Drop your neck here. Beautiful. How do we do there? Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, sir? Feels good. Been right. a long time. Yeah, brother. We're going to tighten your abs. We're going to stand up. Nice and slow. We're going to stand all the way up. And we're going to do a gentle adjustment. You face that way for that upper thoracic head down. I'm going to put my hands here. I want your hands right on top of mine. And interlock your fingers and squeeze down a little harder. Breathe in. Chest up. Chest up more. And fall back. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. How do we do there? It's <laughs> really good. Yeah, a little taller. Yeah. You, re ready. you ready, brother? That's good. Awesome, man. So congrats on your first adjustment. Thank you. All right. Uh, remember that if you are a little sore after an alignment, it's totally okay. I mean, obviously you're in pain already. You know, it's just like training, right? You go mm -hmm. to a workout, you're like, oof, tight, sore. It's okay. Ice area, 20 minutes, every couple hours if you need to. It's just going to get better and better. Yeah, All right? Definitely. Thank you very much. I Bro, appreciate blessings, it. Blessings, man. I'm excited for you, bud. Thank you, man. Yeah. Let's